hi everybody this is pramita here and it's been a long time i have done a video apart from the whole video that you had seen um and if you're new to my channel because i do have quite a few new subscribers my name is pramita i am a teacher by profession but um making journals and creating digital kits is also kind of um, a part-time job you can say for me and I do have an Etsy store uh, where you can find journals as well as digitals that I create. So you'll find the link in the description box along with some of the kits that I've created. So if you are interested, you can hop on there. And currently I'm having a 40% off sale. So that's going to last for only a couple of days. I just started that. Um, it's going to be a short term sale and hopefully you will be able to uh, if you like something you can pick something up at a discounted rate uh, that's nice in times like this you know when uh, everybody is going through a financial crunch uh, most of us are so um, basically what i have here are two kits uh, one is called the vintage uh, it's called vintage blues because I had been toying with the blue and vintage idea for a while. I had made this kit uh, partly and then I had, uh, you know, not completed it. Uh, and then um, I decided to go back to it and complete this. Because it's been a while since I've made a kit. Now this kit is a little bit different because it is a master boat collage kit but also comes with ephemera pages so it has seven ephemera pages it is a total um, you know the kit is of 18 pages so um, you get about seven seven pages of ephemera and one book cover so you can make a book also it is in a narrow format so it's going to be a little bit different you can use that cover for anything else also and I have resized the cover also. It, it is pretty tall uh, book. So like a ledger book sort of thing. You can make something like that. Or you can resize it to do something else. Um, you can even reinforce the spine. I'll show you how I'm, what I'm talking about. Let's begin the flip through first. So this is the vintage blue kit that I have. Again it has 18 sheets. So this is the they are not arranged in any particular order but um so this is one of the ephemera sheets this is the other one so you get some tickets some journal cards you can make them into pockets you can alter them add laces again another of ephemera sheets there are enough blankish uh, ephemera that you can alter or some already have some floral elements here and there like this one so this is the fourth page here you get some labels and then some square labels some tickets tag some more general cards and tags so you can turn them into tags also Okay, so these are some of the images that I've used in the kit itself. Um, some fussy cut flowers and butterflies. Some journal card. Okay, so that's uh, the, you know, the ephemera part goes. And then we come to the uh, masterboard collage sheet sort of thing. So this is one sheet. Another one. So even though it's called vintage blue, um, but it is not very overtly blue on all the pages. Some of the pages are not so blue because I wanted uh, this to be, you know, um, compatible with other shades also. So this is this is a third page. Again, the fourth page, very master body kind of look fifth page you can even fuzzy cut these out and create your own, own collage pages okay so this this will come i'll talk to this about this later on uh, this is another page and i really love how these images and birds have turned out 
love this image so this is another one. Oh, this is upside down I'm sorry so this is another one so you get some blankish kind of pages and some with the images on um, you can make tags pages whatever usually masterboard kits do not come with ephemera but I thought that I'm going to include some ephemera in case you want to use it in some other way so this is another page I love this tiny girl I when I started this kit there was a story behind this so like these girls they were these young girls that you see in the paper uh, they were under her you know she was their grandmother and she took care of her grandchildren granddaughters rather and um, uh, because they had lost their mother at a very young age so that was the story that was that 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 prompted me to go into this um you know the story behind this masterboard uh kit so i thought of creating something like this with the story behind so that you can build on that story and create a journal too so this is another one i love this young girl and this is another one so as you can see apart from that um, you know elegant old lady not too old middle-aged lady um, none of the pictures are of ladies they are all young girls who were under the supervision of that young lady so, uh, that lady okay so here is actually the book page so this is the cover that you're going to get and it is pretty long that's because you know it is meant to be done in this way so you fold this and there is a spine also if you want this is the narrow book okay so if you want you can resize it i have resized the cover you know the books so you can resize it and make it a little bit smaller if you so want and then it's going to work fine there's no um you know there's no change in the image as such and i will show you how to create a book using this book cover and um, give it a very rustic and vintage look which is going to be followed by this video uh, so don't give up hope uh, pramita will definitely show you how to use this as a book cover and create a vintage blue journal for yourself or for someone you love or even if you want to sell them and uh, if you don't want to use this as a cover that's fine too you can use these as collage sheets uh, that works good too you can use these covers in other projects also that that works too um, so I just felt that I, I wanted to do something different uh, which will have a book cover which will also have ephemera and which will also have some masterboard uh, style collage sheets which can be used in different ways as you know so that's one of the kits which is called vintage blues um, I let me show you the other kit and move this away okay so now this is the kit again this is not arranged in any particular order so what I had done was I had dyed some pages um, uh, I had used some uh, you know there's a kind of reddish toned tea that's available um, and I've used that tea I've used coffee I've used avocado and also I've used some uh, leaves um, mainly which were found in my garden so basically I've used those and I had dyed them in periodic order uh, and then I have layered a lot of uh, stuff on them so they're kind of a, um, you know it's not very uh, like it's not totally uh, uh, avocado dyed or it's not totally tea dyed there are mix of both or perhaps more in these and this took me quite a while to do and then I added some digital lace images so this is one of the pages this is kind of a tea dye and then I've added some coffee ring sort of thing. Uh, mostly these were painted, you know, they I painted these with coffee and tea liquor and then I've layered down some lace on top. 
if you see this carefully if you notice this carefully you'll see there's a very faint lacy background to this so i tried to do that and these stains they came out so well actually i was dyeing this these papers for myself and then i decided to scan them and that's how things went and these can be used as background papers these they can be uh, used as pockets tags envelopes um, you'll see me using them a lot in fact um, and uh, also you can you know print them at the back of your pages uh, so this is another one so these two are different stains you know even though the pattern is same but this is a different coloration this is of different coloration this is coffee and this is tea so again this is a little bit of coffee with tea rings what i've done is i've added rings coffee uh, tea rings even though uh, i had coffee dyed the paper similar thing over here this is a more congested one like when you fold this you see how pretty they look and they are perfect for your uh, junk journal neutral pages they can be used as filler pages also um, this is another one this one or <laughs> what i did was i had this old book um, with blank pages and i tea stained that and then um, you know in tea staining you get this golden hue sort of thing but in coffee stain it doesn't get like this this is this can only be done with tea staining um, and as i said i have used uh, my brush you know the painting brush and then i have painted them with the solution so this is how so you can fold this you can even write over here so it's it's perfectly fine so this is something again i've done some lace bits so again you can fold this you can make tag you can add them as your collage bits also because they have this doily kind of effect i love this page this is so pretty i had done a lot of um, watercolors also on top of this so that is why they have this distressed look at the top and when you fold this you can write over here you can add a photo you can you know even cut this out and make it into a window page same thing over here i love this this is a round doily that i added this is something you know it's just, just uh, from the, on the middle of the page so when you fold this this is going to be if you want you can just fussy cut these out and your page will have a lacy edge so it's totally up to you how you want to uh, take this this is a totally tea stained page as you can see there are lots of rings that i have drawn and then stains um i wanted this to look like this and you have this middle a rectangle sort of thing so when you fold this um you have the school section where you can write or you know you can add a photo you can add uh you know some sort of embellishment then these pages are my favorite i have used tea as well as coffee to stain these pages and um, there's this big doily in the middle and then some lace panels and when you fold this when you fold this they itself you know there's lots of coffee tea drippings around this area and um, you can use it in any way you like you can turn it this way also so whatever is suitable i have used lids um, bigger lids to create these so i think i have a video on this how i do this so you can check that out this is another one that i've done and i really liked how it turned out so basically um, i have used different uh, lids different dripping techniques to create these backgrounds and then i have layered them with these kind of lace images uh, they are perfect for any kind of grungy as well as there is a variety of uh, papers you know you don't have to have um you don't need to use the, all the grungy ones they, they there are some non grungy ones also uh, you can use them so this is another one 
so this this is one of my favorite this it's very simple very subtle but it still has that coffee uh, tea staining look because tea staining gives you these kind of reddish tones uh, coffee staining does not give you this reddish tone it just gives you a sort of you know uh, sometimes it turns a little bit on um, a darker note to that coffee staining these are actually uh, leaf stained i had some leaves and i uh, made some you know dye out of those i had picked up these leaves from the garden and then i boiled them i made them into um, you know thick uh, color and then i dyed the papers and then i layered uh, laces as well as i after they dyed uh, actually after they dried i added some coffee uh, and tea staining to them and then i layered them then i scanned them and then layered them so this is another one this is a very subtle you can see for sure i really like how these leaf stain turned out this is another one again when you fold this you have the space where you can write you can back use them as backing papers you can create tags we will be creating some projects out of these you will see as i go and use them so i will put a link to these kits below in the description box so if you are interested you can check these um see how they uh, work out so this kit also has 18 sheets um so both of them are 18 page kit and they even though they are in the uh, you know a4 size but you can you know resize them into uh, the us letter size no issues with that and this one i have resized because i wanted to make a smaller notebook and here what you can do is you can just uh, slip off the you know snip out the spine part and you can reinforce the spine with fabric or you know if you have those um, you know the materials that the envelopes are made, made of non terrible sort of thing um uh what is it called i just can't get that off the bat um so you can use that uh, to make a separate spine you can because the spine is around uh the spine is around half inch it's a little bit more than half inch um but it's around half inch spine so if you're making a smaller journal it works fine if you want to make a bigger journal then you can definitely re you know cut this out and make the spine larger uh, by reinforcing some fabric or paper or whatever so that's the whole thing and uh, so these kits are already listed you can see if you like so that's it thank you everybody for watching this bye have a great day